the village idiot is a plant sent out of West Australia to make sure no one interrupts that program from the, at the high court level. So the moment he went onto the bench, he automatically caught all the other judges in concealing his treason. He's an invalid player. The whole of the high court is. Yeah. Hey, the listen. whole of the high court is. And if people continue to submit to the high court, and mm. I'm actually saying you have to, yeah. but you have to then show the high court... I'll give you an example. I had a judge the other day saying, Mr Shaw, you have to abide by this section of the Supreme Court Act before you... I said, no, that's a test you're trying to apply, but I'll give you a test you have to jump over before you even apply that one. Now, the test I gave him, and he wanted to know what it was, was, and this comes out of Section 34 of the Crimes Act Commonwealth, mm. a judge or magistrate exercising federal jurisdiction with a personal interest two years jail. I said, that's a fair hurdle for you to jump over. You've got to jump that one before you get back to the Supreme Court Act. Now, what is, it, what is the point I'm making, Jack? This is the Crown's been taken out of Western Australia. But what's the point I'm making? And it's, it's that it's all rigged. No, what's the point I just made? Forget the rigging. Mm. Everyone knows what's going on. People know what's going on, but are they addressing it correctly? Not really. That, that's the point I'm making. Mm. So by quoting what I just quoted to you there, what did I just do to the High Court judges? You've put them on um, notice, on record. And that's two years jail. For, and it says judge or magistrate, here's seven High Court judges, yeah. exercising federal jurisdiction. That's what they're doing because it's a constitutional issue with a personal interest. What's their personal interest, Jack? Their personal interest is yeah. to make sure you lose. and that no, no. You... Be more specific. All right. How much are you paying your high court judges as a taxpayer? Whether you pay $1 a year or whatever, you're paying those boys and yeah. girls. So they're just... How much are you paying your high court judges? I don't know. I have never... Well, is it a reasonable question? Yes, it is a reasonable question. Okay, Actually, then... how much are we paying those, those... Well, I know in Victoria you're paying your Supreme Court boys 300 grand a year. But here's the real issue, Jack. 300 grand. What's their super? What's their super? Well, that's ex well, their super. Well, there's your personal interest. Yeah. So if they're saying, hang on, what's this Yahoo saying? That we shouldn't be sitting and we're committing an indictable offence? The indictable offences, there's, there's at least a dozen of them in there, mm. indictable offences, which means that their salary and super automatically finishes when the charge can't, uh, is... Is, la is confirmed in a court. Do you think they're going to protect that? Yeah, of course they well, are. Well, there's your personal interest. But the moment, every well, paper gonna... I've ever read on bias mm. or apprehension of bias, you know what they leave out, Jack? What? They leave out that criminal charge. Yeah, they're protecting their own. No, and, no. Yeah. I'm not talking about they're protecting their own. That's why I said to you at the beginning, yeah. the Aussie is a bloody village idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a village idiot. Well, they better, you know, pull the friggin' headphones off while they're on them trains and throw the friggin' little novels away and wake up. And then when they do wake up, do something. Yes, what, what's the solution? Well, Jack, it's a very good uh, question that you just raised. But the thing is, you know how people like, you know, in different countries and they bomb the crap out of it, they've already got the Constitution and their Masonic sort of rules already placed for them to hit these countries already. So they've got the solution. So when we do bring this tyranny of um, and this... Uh, this this The Crown's got to go. The Crown... Uh, there's two Crowns, isn't it? Do you, you know this, don't you, Brian? The two Crowns? I've heard about this. What, what's your idea of the, the two well, Crowns? Well, you're two Crowns. One is your Imperial Crown. That's represented by the Queen. Yep. And, and the, the other one is the Crown of cool. the City of London, which is your Masonic crown. Which is run by uh, certain families, which well, is... Well, no, you don't even have to go into that. Yeah. There's, there's no way you're going to prove that in a court of law. I oh, know, because why but is what that? what can you prove in a court of law? Well, the... You can prove that London is a separated state from England mm. and is protected by another law. You can prove that. Yeah, but ha that's the problem. That's where they've, they've, they've put this in. This, but that, that's, that's not the problem. The problem is the bloody Aussie, mm, excuse the expression, mm, not getting up off their ass and doing something. Now, just the fact, like, I'm due, in a, I'm due in a magistrate's court at the end of this month. The Masonic court? Do you know why? Why? Because I didn't vote in the state election. Now, why didn't I vote in the state election, Jack? 
Well, because the fact is that uh, you wanted to go into court. Exactly. And, and that, that's go, that's a, but I'm actually a defendant now. Do you know what that gets me? Defendant? Yeah, because I've been charged on a criminal charge. I didn't vote. That's right. So you've got to... But def- I'm a defendant. Yeah. So you've got to go in there... But def- that, that, being a defendant for an $80 charge gives me every right of a defendant in any type of criminal charge. Well, I hope so. No, it does. I know it does, but I just hope But when you go in there. Now, you've had pro- uh, been called uh, by a judge. Um, what, 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 what do they call you? Which um, they try and put, they, They're trying to pin you down because they know, Brian, that you're um, putting issues that they're trying to, um, for their best interest, to keep no, you away. Jack, they know exactly what's walking in the door now. Yeah. Even the, one of the magistrates, what you call a pre-hearing before they actually have the hearing, they just simply said, what will be your defence, mm. constitutional? Mm. Could you give me a quick, quick glimpse of what that would involve? Mm. That's okay. It's a normal question. Mm. And I said, well, the Crown was removed from West Australia. West Australia can't vote. Instantly, you know what the magistrate said? What? You've just destroyed every law in the Commonwealth. Now, I just said to him, Your Honour, I didn't activate that. I only discovered it. I'm not the perpetrator. But he knew the ramifications of the Crown being out of West Australia in an instant. Yeah, he's aware of it. No, he wasn't aware of it. He wasn't aware of it until it was spoken. But But if if you're sitting beside a police officer who is the prosecutor in a magistrate's court, Mm. what is the what is the requirement that the police officer must do when that offence is now revealed in an open court? And there you have the police involved in the concealment. Yeah, they're lackeys. No, they're not lackeys. It's the bloody Aussie that's the village idiot. See, everyone's blaming somebody else, Jack. It's true, it's true. Without looking in the mirror and saying, am I going to walk into this bullshit or am I going to do something about it? Yeah. Everybody should be looking in their mirror, just simply saying, am I that sheep going up the drafting race? Because, Jack, you can't get them up the draft and race if you can't catch them in the paddock. <laughs> that's, it's, that's Brian Shaw, our farmer, our constitutionalist. The Constitution is 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 not valid anymore. I mean, it's... it's Jack, pe- they suspended it about... I would say they suspended it almost immediately after the 1999 referendum said we're keeping the monarch in our Constitution. Yeah. They would have said, well, up you for the rent. Mm. You village idiots, and we're going to suspend that constitution, and you're going to cop what we're going to give you. And they were stupid enough to accept it. The village, someone's just texted me uh, there, uh, Brian, that the village idi- idiots uh, last week celebrated having their lights out on Earth Hour. Oh well, I mean, you only had to go and listen to Bob Brown have a chat down in Hobart <laughs> when he talked about why is the intergalactic phones not ringing? The bloody guy's a fruitcake. <laughs> And he shouldn't be sitting in the Senate. And I want to tell you this, Jack. Yeah. If West Australia can't got the crown out, how can senators come out of West Australia and sit in the Senate? Mm. If they're sitting in the Senate next to Bob Brown, are they committing treason? Treason being breach of allegiance. Jack, you're the jury. Say yes or no. Yes. And that's what a jury would say. Mm. Do you know why? Because the elector in West Australia was not told we took the crown out, but we tricked you to go to the polling booth to send the politicians to make all our work work. Now, with this crown that's taken out, which one is it? Is it the, the United Kingdom one? The the Majesty's the, the United Kingdom of uh, yeah, her Majesty, the Rothschild. Queen Elizabeth, heir, successors, and subjects. Yeah. Oh, that's a good clause in it, isn't it? Mm. All right, I'll listen. run it by you again because you might have missed it, Jack. What? It says we remove mm. Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs, successors, and subjects. All right, I've got another text. What about the subjects, Jack? Yeah, what about them? Well, that's us. Yeah, we're and the subjects. They're out too. They're, they're the porpoises, no, the village idiots. The village idiots went west. <laughs> Can you hold for a second? We're going to go on to one song. I've got more on. I've got to keep you on there, Brian. Can you hold on? Yeah. All right, let's go on to chocolate. <laughs> Pop stock, I mix my pop stock. Pop stock, I mix my pop stock. A pop stock, I mix my pop stock.
Yeah, there you go. That's uh, Chockstock uh, from the fall. Great song back then. Radio Skid Row, 88.9 at 7.30 on Thursday. We're, uh, we're going to the Easter break. Um, Easter is celebrated of uh, the... Actually, we've got Brian Shaw. Actually, just going off the mark there, Brian. Easter, um, Esther, w- where did Easter come from? I don't want to go in there near that, Jack, but what I will tell you right now <laughs> is the two biggest... You cannot do occult stuff mm. without occult rituals. Well, they do rituals all the time. Now, occult rituals involve the killing of human beings yep. right across the world. Yep. And the two biggest times that they do this, the two biggest times, mm. is, is at Christmas and Easter. So between Friday and Sunday, a lot of people will die in Australia from occult rituals. They'll be slaughtered. Mm. Now, here comes the point I'm making. Who's actually doing that? Yeah, and ha- Because the people who are, who are doing that have no conscience at all and no ethics or morality at all. And are these the people that they're using in high-level positions, either politicians, judges, police officers, or whatever, uh, to be able to do what they're doing to the Aussies' intelligence. And Easter, which is already... They already have the people in the closets ready to be slaughtered now. Yeah. Because it'll start Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, The average person doesn't know anything about that. But for me, I gave sanctuary to one of the former warlocks out of all of that system. I gave him sanctuary for three months. So I gained a lot... 